joined by Michael Licato, assistant coach here at the Melton Bloods this year. And look how have you enjoyed your first four or five months at the footy club? Yeah, I've loved it, Jamo. Um, it's exciting coming into a new group, uh, seeing some fresh faces and um, being, work, being able to work with some raw talent. Um, there's really exciting times at the footy club at the moment. We've got a lot of young blokes on the list that are extremely talented. And um, the first four or five months have been absolutely fantastic. They've uh, welcomed me in with open arms and I can't wait to start season proper. Tell us a little bit about your playing history, Lika. Where have you come from? Um, well, I started all my junior footy playing at uh, Aberfeldy in the Eastern District League. Um, I was lucky enough to play a little bit of representative footy there and then um, tasted a bit of success, senior success in 2014 with Parkside in the WRFL. Um, and last year I played at Mount Pleasant in the Heathcote District Footy League. So uh, looking forward to come back and try my hand in the Ballarat League. You're on board as a uh, playing assistant coach with us this year. How have you found the coaching side of things so far? Um, I've really enjoyed it. Again, coming into a group with uh, so much young talent um, and room for development has been an emphasis of mine and something that I um, really thrive on. So the coaching aspect of things I, I want to take further and learning off Murph and the, and the coaching panel that we're currently put in place has been an invaluable experience for me. Um, and obviously I've still got a lot to go, a lot to learn and, and a long way to go, but um, so far I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been really good. We've uh, had a, a final hit out against Macedon on uh, Saturday, of course. What were a couple of the uh, things that stood out for you from the game? What did you take out of it? Uh, one thing that really stood out for mine was the competitive nature of the group. Uh, I thought um, we really, really attacked the ball strongly, um, which is great. Sometimes it's very difficult to coach a player's attack on the ball, let alone the structures and things like that. So I thought that the essence of our game plan really stood up against some really good opposition. And it was always nice to get a win on the board, or the second win on the board, prior to the season proper starting. And it gives us a lot of confidence heading into round one against Melton South as well. A few of the standout performers for you from that game and also throughout the pre-season? Um, yeah, we had a lot of standout performers throughout the pre-season, guys that really stood up and surprised. And a few of the younger boys like uh, Riley Walker, Sammy Hurst has probably been a big one that's come on in leaps and bounds with his improvement. He's a very, very coachable um, young man. Jordan Kite as well, stepping up from the under-18s, played against Macedon. I thought he did a fantastic job. Um, and then working with guys like Mitch Brockwell and Jared May as well uh, that have been staples in the senior side now for the last couple of years, helping them take the next step and become regular and important A-grade footballers. Your player sponsor, Intersports Summary, have come on board uh, here at the footy club. Have a Melton Bloods VIP night coming up next week. We certainly do. Uh, thank you to Peter and Pauline at Intersports Summary. Uh, they've quite kindly come on board as a sponsor of the Mountain Bloods Footy Club uh, and we have a VIP night for all players, family, friends and members of the Mountain Bloods Football and Netball Club so I encourage you all to get along next Wednesday. It's going to be a great night and we really want to give back to the guys that are going to support the footy club and make it a better place for all involved. And lastly, what are you looking forward to most on April 16 when we take on Melton South Round 1 here at Mackey Park? Uh, I'm just looking forward to pulling on the Melton Jumper in season proper for round one. Um, there's a lot of blood, sweat and tears that have gone in since November um, for us to get to this game and I've heard a lot about the rivalry between Melton and Melton South and I'm just looking forward to the buzz around Mackey Park when we run out and we take on um, one of our arch rivals. It should be fantastic. Welcome on board and uh, look forward to a good season and success here at the footy club. Thanks very much, Joe, mate.